Hello and welcome to ESA. I am good all day with the news. Ethiopia said it would implement the Algiers Peace Agreement signed with Eritrea in December 2000 and fully accept the decision by the Ethiopian Eritrean Boundary Commission that came after a two year bloody war between the two neighboring countries. According to the national broadcaster ETV, the executive committee of the ruling EPRDF has made the decision in its regular, in regular meeting today. The two countries agreed on a binding decision by the Commission following a two-year bloody war between 1998 and 2000 in which an estimated 70,000 people lost their lives on both sides. The Commission handed down its decision in 2002 awarding Badume, the flashpoint of the war, to Eritrea. Ethiopia refused to return the territory of Badme to Eritrea and insisted caught on normalizations of relations between the two countries should come before any implementation of the decision by the Commission. The Boundary Commission decision delimitate the border between the two countries. Ethiopia's parliament, the House of People's Representatives, today lifted the state of emergency imposed in February. On Saturday, the cabinet of the Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed sent a draft law that lifts the state of emergency to the parliament for approval. Ethiopia imposed a state of emergency in February, the second martial law in two years after a nationwide and deadly anti-government protest in which security forces killed hundreds of protesters and tens of thousands detained. The just lifted state of emergency was declared on February 16, a day after former Prime Minister Haile Mariam de Saleng abruptly resigned and way before the new Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed was appointed, putting into question the legitimacy of the decree. On Wednesday, the ruling EPRDF and opposition political parties began talks to amend the anti-terrorism proclamation. The regime used the law's broad interpretations to muzzle the press and stifle dissent. A number of journalists and opposition political figures have been thrown into jail, allegedly for trespassing the proclamation. Loans to various government-run projects by the Commercial Bank of Ethiopia, CBE, has reached a whopping 14.5 billion US dollars and despite their maturity, no payment has been made by borrowers, that is according to ESAT sources. Major among the borrowers is the Ethiopian Electric Power Corporation, EEPCO, which has borrowed about $10 billion for feasibility studies and construction of the Gilgal Gibe hydroelectric projects. According to the sources, the over-exaggerated loan was paid to various contractors. The $10 billion loan by EEPCO was in addition to loans borrowed from foreign lenders, it was learned. $2.2 billion went to the government-run Sugar Corporation, which has been accused of squandering $2.8 billion without completing any of its sugar projects. The Metal and Engineering Corporation, METEC for short, a corporation run by army generals which has come under fire for alleged high-level corruption, has borrowed about $436 million. Loans to the enterprises were made while executives of the bank were also members of the boards of the borrowing enterprises, or vice versa, at the time of the loan. Loans provided to the public enterprises have a maturity period of 5 to 10 years, according to the sources, and although most of the loans have matured already, no payment has been made to the bank. In addition, total loans to regional governments of Amhara, Oromo, Tigray, and South Ethiopia, as well as the Addis Ababa administration, has reached $1.4 billion. The National Bank of Ethiopia has not made on-site supervision for the last eight years, leading to irregularities in lending activities of CBE. ISAT reported last week that the governor of the National Bank of Ethiopia has given illegal loan guarantees to the Endowment Fund for the Rehabilitation of Tigray effort, a business conglomerate owned by the ruling TPLF. 
According to ISA sources at the National Bank of Ethiopia, the governor, Taklaul Datnafu, has given several guarantees of up to 100% of foreign loans taken by effort against his mandate and the proclamation of the National Bank of Ethiopia. That ends the news. Thanks for watching.